My name is Tim Katz. I am the president and CEO of Black Widow Exhaust, and this is my 1990 Chevy OBS. I'm kind of, I guess I'm an 80s, 90s kid. These trucks really kind of hit home with me. My dad had one, it was his work truck. He had another one that was just like a play truck. So I bought one of these on the words of a friend of ours who was doing some media for us at the time. Uh, he said, these trucks are gonna be popular. You should get one. I went out that week and picked it up. At the time, it was 2014, I think it was. It was a good run and driving truck. I think I picked it up for 2,500 bucks. The whole motif of the truck was to be a better modern version of the 454 SS truck. I was working with GM, put an LSX 454. Instead of the 454 SS on the side, I was gonna put the LSX 454. SEMA came real quick and the truck wasn't done. I ended up taking the engine, put it in another car, used that for SEMA. And then I didn't see this truck from probably 2015 until mid 2022. The fab work was pretty much all done on it, but it was probably a year of a lot of work getting it to where it is now and then the, the plan was at that point was to debut it at ls fest earlier this year 2023 it's not really a drift truck i put a handbrake in it you know with our big logo it looked like a sword in there i wanted it just to be something i can go have fun in i like driving I've, my purple 55 i've driven that thing from oklahoma and back i've road tripped across country in it with the same lsx 454 this, I wanted to get in it and be able to drive it as far as I wanted, but I can pull the handbrake and slide and drift and do all that and have fun with it just as a marketing tool for the business and anybody I work with, such as Alden, you know what I mean? I like to be able to give back and work with other companies. So it's just a fun truck to go out and, and play with and, and act a fool and try not to go to jail. So when I was building the truck, I got a hold of Alden and I wanted a set of custom double adjustable shocks for this thing just because of all the uneven surfaces and some of the drifting stuff we were gonna do. And they knocked it out of the park. The thing rides perfect and it does its job. LS Fest was good with this. I didn't race it. I didn't do any burnouts with it. I literally just got it running right before LS Fest, having some tune issues and a couple of things. But as far as what I wanted it to be and the attention, you know, the bright colors, it's a 90 truck. I wanted to kind of go back to that theme of the Miami Vice was kind of my thoughts with the bright colors. When I designed the wrap, Bill saw it and he started calling it Bubblicious. From the Bubblicious, my kids started calling the truck Bubbles. These trucks are making a really big push. They're super popular. I feel like we were ahead of the curve with coming with this truck, but it took almost 10 years to get it done. So we kind of fell behind, but it, these trucks are super popular and it does its job as far as marketing for us. 